Hey friends, Angela here, the Inquisitive Farm Wife, and it has been a busy day. My son actually had to go to the city, which is a couple hours from here, and so it kind of took up most of our day by the time we drove down there, ran a few errands while we were in town, and then drove back. So, I don't have a lot for preservation, but before I came inside, I did get a little clip of the garden, which will end the video with that. But I thought we would check on this pineapple. Okay, so I cut up this pineapple, gosh, it's been, it's probably been close to two weeks ago, and um, it's just not getting used like I thought it would. Let's give it a taste. Oh. It still tastes good, but I didn't get any of the projects that I thought I would make with it. I thought I might can a um, sweet and sour sauce. I thought I might can some jam. I thought I would make some pineapple upside down cakes, you know, some little individual ones. None of that happened. So let me show you what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna dump this out. It's got a little more juice than I thought I want it, than I want to have. So let's go ahead and pour some of that off. Didn't realize how much juice we had in there. I don't want this in here because what we're gonna do is we're gonna freeze this. And if you have all this juice, when you freeze it, it'll just make a bit of a mess. So you can freeze it separately, you can drink it, whatever. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna try to separate all these pieces the best I can. And we're just gonna throw these in the freezer and I'm gonna set, let them set just like this overnight. And we will have chopped pineapple that maybe we can get to these recipes another day, or we can use them for smoothies. We will find a purpose for them and they won't get wasted. So yeah, I didn't think I'd get any projects done, but we did get this put in the freezer and a little small garden harvest because every bit counts. Now to the garden. Okay, okay, okay. Before we go to the garden tour, um, I have a feeling that tomorrow morning might get crazy for me and I might forget to take care of the pineapple. And if time gets away from me again, or if I'm in my pajamas and I don't want to be filming, I'm just going to tell you what you need to do. So you can take that and you could measure it out if you want, or you can put it in a big Ziploc bag. But because we laid the pineapple out flat on a sheet, we'll be able to break those pieces apart and get what you need at the time rather than one big, huge lump. You can put it in a Ziploc bag. You could put it in um, mason jars. I could put it in the freeze dryer and I could have freeze dried pineapple, which would be another great thing to do with it. I will probably, probably just put it in a Ziploc freezer bag, but ideally I should go down and seal it with the Avid Armor and the chamber vacuum sealer. That would be the best way for long-term storage. And so I'm not sure which direction I'll go, but I may forget to bring you with me. So I wanted to finish this and let you know what to do with your frozen pineapple chunks when you do them. Hey friends, I just got back home and I wanted to come and give you a little bit of an update of what's been going on here in the garden. Um, it won't be like a full tour or anything, just a quick update and we're going to pick a few things. Sad things, sad things. My cucumber plant here, let me bring in a little closer. I said cucumber. I did not mean cucumber. I meant cantaloupe. So what happened was I found it had fallen over and I thought it was because I hadn't had my cage buried deep enough. And then I saw this and it had completely snapped off. And originally I thought it was from the weight, but I really think a bug had gotten to it. And you can see that one of these plants has died. And in trying to save um, the other plant, which seems, seems to be the stem is okay, I really jostled this thing around. It was way here at the top. And I tried saving, I tried sticking it in here and doing all kinds of things. I think it is attached to the live plant and I don't see them today, but I thought, oh, there we go. And we do have new blossoms. So I have hope that this will survive, but I just wanted to quickly show you what had happened. Same thing over here, I believe. I believe, I think we're gonna go ahead and harvest. This has died. Um, so let's go ahead and harvest this today. We'll take this in with us. But again, 
I've got a new blossom. I think it's on a healthy plant. I'm really not sure, but it is a male flower. And you know that because of the long, long stem, but hopefully that means there'll be female flowers too. And we have one more that looks like it's on a live plant. We know that the squash bugs had gotten here and really worked this one over. But around the corner, I have the most beautiful, beautiful garden. I'm so excited about this. I am just loving, hello little feller. I'm just loving these beautiful zinnias. Look at this one. This one's my favorite. We may have to come out in the next few days and pick a bouquet. I've never grown zinnias before. They start out kind of looking like this, and then you'll see the little tiny flowers come, and then later all these big petals come out, and look how full and beautiful this is. It is just a gorgeous thing that makes me happy, and I've heard that if you pick them, they'll produce more, so I definitely want to get in there and pick these so I can have more hopefully throughout the fall. I'm just so super excited about that. Let's see here. The other day I thought, which plant was it? Let's see if it's ready. Oh, nope. We have some tiny zucchini, but they're not ready. So we'll leave those. Um, no flowers on the okra yet, but oh, I have to show you this. I have to show you this. Butternut squash is coming. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. So we evidently had a female flower in there. Let's see if I can find a spot. Um, now let's move to another plant. Here we go. Let's look here. So see how the ones that are really, there we go here. Let's see if I can find my hand. This one is really, really close. This will be a female flower. And then see this one has a stem. That's a male flower. Someone had asked me. So there you go, friend. We absolutely could harvest some of these peppers, but peppers kind of will stay on the plant. I want to see if these ones are gonna turn a different color, maybe red or yellow, I'm not sure. Jalapenos, um, they're starting to have the cracks on them. So I know they're ready, but I really don't want to do anything with them tonight, so I'm not gonna pick not gonna pick those today. Let's see, I'm gonna try to Oh, that butternut squash just doesn't want to go up. Of course, just you know, whenever a cherry tomato pops up and it's ready, I pick it. But let's go ahead and grab. I don't know if you can see these. Got us just just a couple of these yellow tomatoes. I'll grab those, take those in tonight. But why I really came here other than to show you the damage and the butternut squash was from that pepper on the last tour. I didn't think it was quite ready, but looky here. We've got a spot where the sun has scalded it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that pepper and we'll take that in. And I think that'll make a delicious omelet. And then when you were not with me, I did go ahead and trim up my shard. I've got rainbow shard and I've got the Swiss shard and I just haven't had the heart to trim it because it's just so beautiful to grow, but I decided that's silly. It will grow more if I go ahead and print it back. So I grabbed all the edges and I actually had planned on making eggs with it. But you know how that is, friends. Sometimes you have the best of attention. So I took a paper towel. If I remember, I'll get it out for you. I took a wet paper towel and put it in a zippy to hopefully keep it fresh. We did gather a few things from the garden together, and I'm just so glad you came along with me. We will see you next time. Thanks for visiting the Inquisitive Farm Wife. You never know what she's going to do. Bye for now, friends.